Hello, Blazer Tales. Oh, if I got a good one for you today. This one is called Bloom. This is the first book in the Overthrow series by Kenneth O'Pale. This book is absolutely amazing. If you like scary, if you like action and adventure, if you like fantasy and magic, and if you like science fiction, this book has it all. This book is about three teenagers. Um, the first one we meet is Anaya. Anaya, when we find, start the book off, Anaya it has sinus issues so bad that when she wakes up in the morning, she can't even open her eyes. She has to go to the bathroom, get a hot, wet um, uh, rag and put on her eyes just to be able to get her eyes open. That's how bad her sinuses are. And she has acne because of this. So she is in bad shape with allergies. Our second main character is Pe Petra. Petra also has some very severe allergies and hers, believe it or not, she's allergic to water. So she cannot wash her face with water. She can't bathe. She has to do special things to be able to do that because she was born with a water allergy. And then our third main character is Seth. Seth is a foster kid. He doesn't have any parents. He goes from house to house. He is a very much of a loner and he has these scars going down the side of his arms that he's very ashamed of and so the three of these unlikely teenagers end up at the same school now Petra and Anaya used to be best friends until something happens I'm not going to spoil that part for you but something happens to make Petra actually hate um, Anaya and they are not friends anymore one day they have a huge rainstorm, like way big time rainstorm, and things start to change. All of a sudden they notice these black vines start growing out of the ground, and they have these little sp spikes on them. They tr cut them down, they grow right back. They cut them down again, they grow right back. Then they start growing faster and faster. Then they start taking over the fields where people have um, like vegetables and things growing. They start taking over homes. They try to burn them and they find out very quickly that is not safe because people die when they do that from the fumes that come off them. And then these things open up out of the ground I picture it to be almost like a Venus flytrap kind of thing. And when people fall into them, there is acid in the bottom that will kill them. So these things were sent here to try to take over the earth. And the three of these kids are three main characters. They are immune when everybody else starts having these horrible allergies because of the fumes that these things are putting, putting off our three main characters are actually better because of it. Um, Anaya's skin clears right up. No allergies whatsoever. Um, Petra, she can she can wash her face with the water, the rain that came down. And Seth has a feeling of empowerment that he's never had before. So when people are dying, and this is happening all over the world. It's not just in a certain place. It's everywhere. Um, Anaya's father is a um, botanist and he has studied plants, you know, all his life. So he goes to this special island where his mother, who is a pilot, I'm sorry, Anaya's mother is the pilot. She noticed on this island that these things were dying and they can't find anything that will kill them. So her dad goes off to try to find out what this is and how they can kill this. And then they can't get in touch with him again. When the government finds out that these three kids are immune to this, they want to test them and they want to see what it is about them that makes them immune to this so that they might can help the other people in the world. And I'll just say when they have to go to the island to try to find Anaya's dad, things don't go very well. This book is absolutely incredible. Like I said, it's, I'm not even a sci-fi person. I do not like science fiction, but this has got sci-fi in it that is absolutely fantastic. Um, scary, so much action and adventure. It is incredible. And then this is book one. Book two, which I have not read yet. I cannot wait to read. It is on my to-read list. It is called Hatch. 
So it is book two in this series. So do not miss Bloom. This book is absolutely amazing. Goodbye. And I'll see you next time.